Hi, my name's Emily and I'm a hot mess. So today I'm gonna be doing a get to know me, what are you reading? What have you just finished sort of video. Obviously I'm new to booktube, it's my first video and I find it extremely awkward staring into my phone doing this while alone in my bedroom. So, so my name's Emily, I'm 21 and I'm from Australia. I primarily read fantasy and romance and when I say romance I mean dark spicy romance. And I'm trash for it and sorry but I'm not gonna change. I collect all things books, I collect all things horror and I have a weird obsession with bird statues as well which I'm sure you will eventually see on this channel. I have around 650 books, primarily fantasy, primarily hardcover. Um, my second most owned genre is surprisingly thriller, mystery and horror. Um, I am trying to branch out in my reading and reading more manga and general fiction and historical fiction and bumping that YA fantasy up to an adult fantasy. Um, some of my favourite authors are Lee Bardugo, um, Sarah J Maas is top tier, god tier. Oh my god, that lady. <laughs> um, Michael Crichton, Crichton, Crichton? I don't know, the dude who wrote Jurassic Park. I love that book. I love those movies. Dinosaurs. Oh, so good. If you hear a lot of noise, I live with my grandparents. We have conyers and lovebirds. They're super loud. My dog barks a lot, so... There's always going to be a lot of things happening. But we are going to try our best to do what we need to do, which is talk books and the occasional movie. So I'm going to go through a few things about how I got into reading some of my favourite books, some of my least favourite books, so let's get into it. I got into reading at a super young age because my grandparents and my parents always read to me at night. It was this big thing and I'm a super competitive person. I like to be the best at everything I possibly can be and that is sometimes the best thing and sometimes it is the absolute worst thing. It's a red flag I suppose you could call it. Um, I read my first book with no pictures which was New Moon because I was watching the Twilight movies and I was trying to read them before, before the movies came out so I read them in the most messed up order but um, I started off with those and then my mum, seeing that I liked vampires, was like, here's Vampire Academy, and whew, whew, that was when I got to know what OTP is, essentially. Dimitri and Rose are by far one of my favourite book couples, even though I'm currently in the middle of rereading that series and find that, oh, she's underage, man, like, you should not be doing that. She's 17, don't go there, man. But, you know, we're still loving it. I then... My obsession started when I was staying with my grandparents and my grandma went out and bought me Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight. I read that so quick, so fast, back to back. They were also the first hard covers I ever bought. And that's when I started collecting. I now own, I think, six full series editions of Throne of Glass. And, you know, I want to find an author I really like, I go paperback, I go hardback, I go collector's edition. Everything, all of it, need it. So that's what really cemented my place in, I guess, being a book collector. So some of my all-time favourite books are obviously the Throne of Glass series, Court of Thorns and Roses series, all the Sarah J Maas. What else do I like? Why have I forgotten every book I've ever read? Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Rise of the Witch and Den of Vipers. Oh, top tier. They're my favourite in the romance category. I know I have more favourites than the generics. I've only read the first book, but Rhapsodic was muy bien. It's complete trash, and you know what? Trash for it. I would die on that hill. I've only read the first book again, but Falling Kingdoms. It's like YA Game of Thrones, like, 
Oh, it's so good. And now we're going to get on to what I'm currently reading and what I have recently finished. Now I'm going to start off with what I'm currently reading and I am currently reading four books and swapping between them usually every hour when we do sprints down on the Discord. The first book that I just started recently is Crown of Gilded Bones. I am 98 pages into this and what the actual hell is going on. So far, look, I love Castile and Poppy so much so much but the first 98 pages of this is messy messy as hell so much is happening i thought there was like a fever dream i thought someone you know ate a mushroom and went on a trip or something because no way all of that could happen in 98 pages but i got a little bit of smart so i'm happy i'm happy i'm excited to see where it goes the next book that I'm reading is a part of a buddy read read-along of the Throne of Glass series. Some of my friends have not read it yet, so we're doing it. And I'm going through the pain again, and we are currently on Terror of Dawn, and we're about three quarters of the way through. I'm on page 452. We've got some nice tabs in there. I had to buy extras because of Kingdom of Ashes coming up, and you know how I just... Not prepared for it. I hated Kale right up until his own character arc. I did not want to read this book whatsoever. Didn't want to know about it. The way the Empire of Storms left off, the answers I needed from Kingdom of Ash, the absolute disgusting attitude that Kale had. Did not want to read about him. Did not want to know about him. And then I read it. And that man is so beautiful in every way. You know, we can forgive other character flaws. We sure as hell can forgive Kale. And Yureen Towers is one of the most amazing characters in Throne of Glass. It's point blank, period. The next book that I am currently reading, I'm about 95 pages in and I'm doing it with Miguel Val and we are reading Bridge Kingdom. I had no idea what this book was about. Naturally, I see it everywhere, so I was like, mm. Maybe we'll give it a go. It's on my TBR. It was on Val's TBR. And we were like, let's do it. And now, I have loved this man before he even stepped foot in this freaking book. I am so ready. It has been so long since I ever read a Enemies to Lovers that just stabbed me in the heart. <sighs> like, I know it's going to hurt. And I know there are going to be scenes where I'm like, but, you know, it's been a while since I found a book that made me want to lick the pages. You know, just, like, lick it. And I haven't truly felt that since I think I read Dunna Vipers, but that was just for smut reasons. But fantasy-wise, it has been a minute. And I'm so excited to read this and get on to the sequel next month. The last book that I'm currently reading is a series read-along with my book club, Book Sluts, and we are on the second book of the Song of Ice and Fire series, and we are on Clash of Kings, and yes, I use my my tabs as a bookmark, so yeah. We are currently doing one book a month as we have massive TBRs, and very high expectations of ourselves. I'm absolutely adoring this series. Um, now that I'm older, I think I understand it more. I understand the politics. I appreciate it more. Like, it's not all just action. It's a lot of scheming and plotting and plot twists and backstabbing. And I'm like... <sighs> the only flaw I would have to say is Daenerys doesn't have a lot of chapters in this book, which makes me sad because I am a Targaryen at heart. Also, the Red Wedding hasn't happened, and if you don't know what the Red Wedding ha what the Red Wedding is, then good for you. But I'm waiting for it to happen because I don't like the characters, and I need them to be eliminated. So I'm just waiting for that chapter. So, yep. But I think the books. And the TV show is so similar. And I'm doing this thing where I read a book, I watch a season, I read a book, watch a season, 
and after reading the first book and watching the first season I could see how closely it worked and how similar and there obviously there are going to be some minor character details some minor scenes left out of course but it was amazing an amazing adaptation we don't talk about the last season but you know amazing so I'm very excited to keep going and a book that I just recently finished is Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard and this was the Chaos Court book club book pick of the month for September and I believe it was Shelley's pick and oh, oh my god I have not read much of Victoria Aveyard I have not finished Red Queen I've read the first two books and was like okay okay and then she busted down my door put this book in my hand and was like read this read this you judgy bitch and you know what I read it I'll concede this was good this was real good oh, like the, even the villains even the villains I was like yes, I can't you know, I know what you're trying to do but I can't see the fault in it because I like you oh. I just be a part of this book club. Um, they're going strong with their picks so far. Next month is Gideon the Ninth. Val picked that one. And then for November, Katie picked The Name of the Wind, which I have been excited for for so long. So I'll leave the Discord link down below. Come check it out. Come hang out with us. We do sprints. They do everything. I love them. Yes. And so that's it. That's me. How do, we, how do you end a YouTube video? Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, all the things. How much does the chimney cost? Nothing, it's on the house.